Hey there, everyone. This is Elkow playing Blast Core, and last time I've learned things. I've learned, for example, that if your vehicle somehow gets a little bit out of bound, the Honda car explodes. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, last time I, I got the uh, Sidewinder apparently lost between the block and the weird weird and it sent me a little out of the map. Fun! Let's do this level. One, because we need to do it, Havoc District, but two, because there's a little red car in it, and I want to unlock that. If I recall, this is kind of an involved level if you, uh, for the purposes of, um, just like, 100%ing it. So we'll see how that goes. Like, maybe this will be the only thing we do today. I don't know. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of little things and we kind of start a part away at the docks. Look at that little, little truck. It's like a little dune buggy. I like this car in flavor, but the levels dedicated to that thing tend to be not the best. Uh, yeah, loading ourselves right in. Here we go. It's a little doom buggy, and it has like a turbo boost. It can pr 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 forward. By the way, I'm pressing the equivalent of C down a thousand times here, and it's not working. And I, I don't understand why. Because, so, you know, when I was playing Mario Paper, Paper Mario, I was pressing C down very often. And, uh, you know, it never was an issue. Like, you, you saw me use sweet C-down moves all the time. So I don't know why it's just not working here. Like, I, I really don't. Like, it's the same nice controller, work. same setup. Wow, this level is very simple to just do, though. Look at that. Just like a nice Don't little tight, tight squeeze uh, for the for, for, for the hot dog mobile to go through. No problem. But if you look at the stats, we haven't actually done all that much. Whoops, there's the wrong button. It's fine. Yay! I just forget if there's anything on this side of the water. Because, yeah, this is a weirdly involved one, if I remember correctly. Alright, so that's when it starts to putt, 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 putt. It's because, you know, it's, it's running out of meter. You got this little meter here. Alright, get out of here, I guess, crates. Alright, so we got another boat situation. Why are there so many boats in the world? Please get rid of your boats before it's too late! Okay, here we just get like a nest of RDUs here. You know, for companionship. Yeah, I get that. All right, but let's load up a robot and stop on some building. And also priceless art. You know, it's because it's priceless that it gives us a lot of money. Now that's what we call ironing. Uh, I think, I don't know. English isn't my first language, so I might make mistakes. It might happen. All right, stomp around the buildings. Have yourself a time. Look at all the RDUs on the floor, ain't that sublime? You can kind of hover like this by hopping, the high hopping, yeah, just kind of tapping the gas button, and it gives us the illusion of going fast. <laughs> all right, surrounding the whole city, you know, in order to contain uh, all the RDs. Uh, yeah, RD is probably the prime target of any radioactive leak out there, so it makes sense to me. Someone put a whole bunch of light inside this tunnel so we can't go there. So, what do we do now? Like, that seems to be like a lot of the map, doesn't it? It sure does. Well, there's more building here. The last survivor is free after I sat on the big building with my knees. The knees that are underneath my torso. Of course, those knees. The soccer knee, as they're called in Italy, probably. I made that up, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, so what else is new, huh? Well, let's see here. We got tire marks. That's fun. So, I remember missing these the first time I played this game. Little graffiti there. No, not that. Little lights just kind of there on top of the bridge. Uh, you gotta destroy those. It's very important for the safety of the world that we destroy 
Whoa. Those, that glitchy down. That must go away, I guess. I don't know what caused that, but that was pretty cool. Like, obviously, an emulation situation. Well, that's nothing new. Okay, one, this is kind of weirdly hard to aim, though. All right, let's go up here, no. Come on, come on, there we go. Like, you don't have to set to destroy. You just kind of have to be over it, you know? Like, the robot waits a lot. I want to see that weird, like, yeah, it's like here. Game just hates rendering that bridge at that angle, at that place. Hates it. Never again. Uh, let's see. So, robots here. Can I pounce on you? You see, won't let me step down over a thing that will not let me survive. So, that's not an option. What else is there? Let's see if there's anything over here in the middle of nowhere. I just kind of naturally go like I knew or something. <laughs> yeah, very strange. There's a star. Wait. Did I see the ballista? I think I saw the ballista just kind of casually parked there. All right, well, that's how we're going to get ourselves. Whoa, that's a 60 missile pack. All right, where's that boat? Because I cannot see it because see here the camera's really high and I can't make it go lower. Okay, boat is right there underneath the bridge. Is that a smart place to put a boat? I'm not a boat guy. I think it's destroyed. Let's go close to make sure. Like, I mean, like, my money went up. So I assume I did good, but, you know, we want to make sure. Nope, boat is still there. My money went up. I mean, it's just, it's just money, right? Uh, if I was on top of the hill here. And, uh, I'm out of missiles. All right, I'll come back. That's fine. I guess that's just going to be a thing, but there's other things I want to be doing. So we will be doing that, and then we'll leave, and then we'll go back. That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Like, just knowing that it's there, you know, like, you can, it's just gonna be like a quick return and return. It's okay. Alright, so there are gonna be invisible walls stopping us from truly addressing the problems of reality. Which has, why how far can my robot go? That's a problem of society. Wait, how far can you go? Okay, there you go. I hit an invisible wall. It truly is invisible. If I could see it, it would not be it. Oh, there we go. See, I knew there was something out at sea. Turns out it was slightly less at sea. It's these fun little sky balls! What are they? I don't know. What's this little landmark here, this little island? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a prosperous little island. You know, that tower, that watchtower, it had to be destroyed. Uh, it was extremely important to get rid of it before it was too late. So, floating anti-gravity uh, marbles. They're giant and only worth $5,000 a piece. So, hey, you know, if you want to get one for your yard or something. Pretty good value, I'm just saying. Uh, but we're not done yet. That's a fun little polygon that's going in there. It's almost like... Is that a way out? There's some... Because, yeah, there's something here. That my, I thought you just kind of went in. Do you need to be driving? Because there I tried to go in just as myself. Well, maybe you need to destroy that. Okay, where's my putt-putt? Putt-putt car, where did I leave you? Now that's what we call a quality automobile. Alright, get in there. Unless I need to absolutely use a ballista, in which case. Because, uh, yeah, that's just not breaking. Uh, maybe I can use Big Boy and, like, sit near it? Otherwise, I guess I'll restart the level. It's okay. I got all those tire marks. It's gross. Fascinating! Alright, so I will come back then with the ability to spout missiles, hopefully. 
But I feel like I still need to fly around just in case. Oh, I can go on top of the mountain. That totally not feels super weird. Uh, Cause that's the angle you're stuck with. <laughs> Anything fun? Well, there's the end of that cliff. Oh, can you smash down here? You can fall down here. Not what I expected. Okay, someone, me, forgot about this. Welcome to my maze, Spider-Man. Uh, but here's the red car. Yeah, now that's a horn. Is there anything here? I don't know. But there's something here! That's right, a trail of RDUs that I hope we get. Okay, RDUs are all gone, that makes me happy. Then we just kind of eject ourselves right here, so that's an exit only rock, of course. Uh, but more importantly, we got the muscle car. That car, I remember being my darling while um, doing race levels. So yeah, we still got something to destroy, the boat. Course. 60 missiles, it's not enough to destroy a boat. Alright, boat. It's like, like, is that hitting? I mean, the missile is clearly overlapping on it. Okay, no, it's darkening! It's cooking! Yay, I did it! Level is complete! Is there not something? I feel like I still- okay, look, still give me a moment. Where's the giant robot? Over here more? Giant robot, where are you at? Oh, are you where I left you? Because I think there's another secret exit. Well, let's just exit the level. We'll- we'll- we'll see. Like, we'll see directly. I got like, da da da, here's a truck. Uh, like, it won't tell us here, but if we exit. Yeah, see, it's green! I did it! I have uh, gave a demonstration of green! That's what green looks like. Uh, yeah, I think it's like another place in, in the cliffside where you need to like just fly, fly, fly to get to it. Oh, no. No, no, I know you want to keep riding it. Wow, buddy. All right, give a wide berth to your dune buggy once you're done over it. That's the lesson here. Because, yeah, so there was the passage up there. So, there, yeah, there was the, the RDU unit. The house thing. I meant more like the antenna next to the... Um, on the island. Ah, oh, yeah, and there's one on the cliffside. I did it! Radio waves have been sent to space. Uh, and as I thought, doing everything in this level kind of ended up taking, you know, a session's worth of session. But, 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 I insist. Like, I'm not gonna jump myself into, like, all, all, all the bonuses here, because I know you have to take these seriously. But let's bring a red car to the sleek streets and see how it compares. They don't have like a name Try or anything, but they do have you weird muddy textures. It's pretty good. Oh, I lost my ghost. It's probably for the best. Look how well you drive. Oh, that's pretty fun. Whoops. Look how well, look how bad I drive. Yeah, that was, that was all me. <laughs> I didn't need to do any of that. Whoa, I could do that without breaking. Whoa, I could do that without completely losing myself to inertia. It's like I'm in control of the vehicle I'm in control of. Whoops, up until here. Okay, so you know what? Don't hubris. Keep your hubris in chat. Cow cow, you are still a cow cow. That's a very bad tendency of you. So maybe do consider breaking here for that turn. But everything else, like, it just kind of happens. I am fully in control of most of my action. With that said, I'm pretty sure there's, like, one or two tracks where you just want the, you know, the completely nutty speed of the America car. But most tracks kind of require you to be able to control yourself somewhat. 
But yeah, like I still did a few bumps and stuff, so. Go for it. Drive good. That's all you need to do. Whoop eye, alright, well. Ooh. Okay, no, I'm doing worse than my Feeling a little bit here. Oh, uh, that's really tragic. Because, you know, that's on the last lab and everything. Wow, did I let that happen? How did I let that happen? Well, if I lost, I know why. B B B B. How does it look like? Well, I know exactly why. Oh man, how did that? I think racing ghosts are so cool. Like it's so rad seeing like my best time and seeing like how I'm just doing flat out better. And I also didn't run into that one corner. Instead I did this though and ruined my entire life. Which kind of sucks. I hit something. I didn't break. And I paid a price. Try this for size. Go for it. So, by logical claims, yeah, the last time I got here with like 0.5 seconds to go, if I'm the head of the car, I should be good. <laughs> wow, with a whole 0.5 seconds of let. Perfect. Oh boy. It, yeah, like the game. Whoa, I don't know why after playing a little bit, the map starts freaking out like that. You know, like at the start, when I started, everything was behaving normally. Now look at that, like the bars are weird and my helicopter is weird. Uh, it's like Symbol 64 can only take so much of this game. <laughs>